Uh, this is my car, affectionately known as the Zunzmobil. You will notice the license plate, Z-U-N-Z. -Z. Many people ask me what it means, what it's about, and hopefully I will fill you in in the next few minutes. Uh, my name is Rabbi Steve Glazer. I'd like to tell you about Leopold Zuntz, who in my opinion was the most influential Jew of the 19th century. He lived from 1794 to 1886, quite a long life, spent almost all of it in Berlin, where for a time he worked for the Jewish community, but for a great deal of that time he was an independent scholar. He was the founder of something called the Wissenschafts des Judentums, the scientific study of Judaism. In the uh, first decade of the 19th century, he and a number of young scholars decided to apply the knowledge that they had learned in German universities to the study of Judaism, and as such, became the godfathers of the academic scholarly study of Judaism. I became first interested in Leopold Zuntz in doing background work on my doctoral dissertation, which is on Hebrew liturgical poetry. Turns out that Zuntz is the godfather of Hebrew liturgical poetry, as well as a number of other areas in the academic study of Judaism. I wound up originally stumbling on one particular volume of his writings and wound up with a collection of over a hundred works by and about Leopold Zuntz, a collection which is going to be housed at Cornell University. That first book that I acquired is a bibliography that Zuntz put together of all the extant liturgical poetry that he could find, and a number of years later I found it in a used Judaica shop. I'd like to pull it out and to show it to you closely. This is the title page of that volume, published in 1865. An interesting side note, all of Zuntz's books on the title page say by Dr. Zuntz, never citing his first name. An interesting, interesting quirk, among others of his, that hopefully we'll have some time to talk about. Okay, so as I turn to a page, it's an alphabetical listing of all the liturgical poems Zuntz could identify and their sources. Again, of great use to anyone who's researching or interested in where these particular pieces appear in our liturgy, something that scholars make use of even till this day. The second volume I'd like to show you is the journal published only for a couple of years of that group of young scholars that were the founders of the Wissenschaft des Judentums. It consists of a number of articles by Zuntz and his young colleagues. It was published in a very, very limited edition, and there are relatively few of them still remaining. I'm fortunate enough to have two of them in my collection. The third volume that I'd like to show you is considered Zuntz's most famous work, a History of the Jewish Sermon, published in 1832. Again, it's a, an, an attempt to prove to the world at large that the Jewish scholarship existed throughout the ages, that thoughtful sermons were given on topics of the day, not just on Torah portions, for centuries and centuries and centuries. Uh, offsetting a widely held myth in Zuntz's time that there was really no history of speaking within the synagogue worship service. In addition to my books, I have a uh, number of pieces of ephemera related to uh, Leopold Zuntz as well. Uh, I'd like to point a few of them out. This is a litho of Zuntz at 50. There are small trading cards much like the baseball cards of our time, of Zuntz, one at 70. Here's his obituary. Again, he died at over 90. And 
perhaps my prized possession, a collection of ten small letters by Zuntz, all to Rabbi Abraham Berliner, who was a very well-known scholar in the 19th century. Uh, they're basically short handwritten notes signed by Zuntz, with the one very notable exception of a printed thank you to everyone who sent him congratulations on his 70th birthday. And a little handwritten note. I find it particularly interesting that uh, that many years ago he must have gotten so many congratulatory notes that he had printed thank yous in advance and just wrote little handwritten notes on all of them. Uh, we should note that Zuntz was a formidable character who had quite a difficult personality. He had a very difficult time holding a permanent job and while the community recognized his brilliance as a scholar, he finally was able to only support himself and sustain himself by a small community pension voted to him by the Jewish community of Berlin that in effect um, paid him to sit and write and to keep away from other people. I think my very favorite and certainly most recent acquisition is a piece that I had commissioned by a young Israeli artist named Jonathan Hadani. It's a whimsical zuntz. It's a very excellent likeness, but throughout his hair it says Wissenschaft des Judentum and Piut. I've enjoyed having this opportunity to teach you a little bit about Leopold Zinz. The word rabbi, of course, means teacher, and I never missed the opportunity to educate about uh, my favorite historic individual. Should you ever see the Zinzmobile zipping around the greater D.C. area, known by the license plate ZUNZ, -Z, I hope it will remind you of this video and this very, very important and influential Jewish scholar Leopold Zinz.